but there are other techniques too. What do you think is going to happen here? Which technique is going to be employed? Uh, which chemical components are we going to talk about? Tell us a little bit about the mechanism in place. It is actually silver iodide is the commonly used uh, uh, material mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it will be burnt through combustion process, it will be ejected from the aircraft uh, in that particular area where uh, wind is likely to bring uh, moisture influx uh, into the cloud. Clouds also moving with the wind. Mm -hmm. So in that uh, uh, inflow segment uh, where uh, uh, injection is uh, done. So there are experiments, past experiments conducted by IITM and several other agencies, state governments also have conducted. So we have some standard uh, thumb rules. Uh, so if this much, uh, uh, first aircraft has to go and collect the uh, sampling within the cloud environment. And then it comes back, transmits that information to the ground team. Mm -hmm. And then they will uh, uh, identify what would be the appropriate time of seeding uh, the cloud. So then aircraft goes and uh, uh, does the uh, seeding process. So it will happen, then they will be monitoring whether cloud is growing or not. If cloud is not growing as per the anticipation and guidance of the ground team, so they will again suggest that you fly again, do it again, some more may be needed. So okay. it is a... So there, uh, there are not just too process. many ifs and buts. It's also yes. a lengthy process. It's a very complicated, very lengthy process. challenging process. Very lengthy okay. process. For example, when this experiment was done in 2008, uh, monsoon season in uh, government of Karnataka mm -hmm. for uh, increasing the rainfall, so it was done for four months here. So four months time, four months time. So when the rainfall comes out of the cloud, so if you take the rain sample, you will know that the seeded material sample will be there in the rainwater. Mm -hmm. 